Okay, so Squarespace released their iPhone app today, and uh, I figured we'd take a quick look at it here on my iPod Touch. Let's click into it. And you can see the post section coming up. <clears throat> and you can see there's a list of posts. So let's get started on the, actually, we'll get started on the far right of the menu where you have an account link. And, and so, uh, you can add different accounts here and when you select your account you have your login and password and then you can also select uh, which journal you want to edit so I've got my different blogs there and I can choose those next uh, we'll take a look at stats so you can look at your statistics from within the uh, application, you can see page view, subscribers, uh, search, refers. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, compared to the WordPress app, the WordPress app, you can't really check your statistics at all. So that's, uh, that's pretty welcome. You can preview your site if I click on preview. We should see a uh, preview of the site. My iPod's taking its own sweet time to get it loaded. And there it is. There's my site. One thing would be really nice is if. Uh, um, and I guess, you know, it, it, what it's looking at is, is the, the particular journal that I'd chosen in the previous um, in the previous account screen. I can go to Manage, and then that allows me to access my recent posts. I can uh, view, edit, or delete each post. If I click on Edit, it, uh, it brings up the Edit window. Um, it's not, you know, it's not uh, a pretty HTML editor, and I haven't really seen that yet on uh, on the on the iPhone for uh, you know for like for example for WordPress. Um, oh, I think it might have just crashed on me, or I might have closed it. Let me go back. And I'm just going to go back to the create actually create post section just to show you real quick what you can do with the create posts it's a little bit awkward holding this in my hand and taking the video so you what you have is um, a title field a description field and you see it's basically you know you're putting in like like it's plain text I guess you could you could force HTML in there by tapping it in but it really won't be too fun to do that you can uh, uh, add a photo, you can take a new photo, or you can choose an existing photo. So if I select choose existing photo, it then, uh, you know, it goes to my photo library. Cancel out of that. And you also have settings here. So uh, we have a date setting. I can add a category. Cancel out of that. Oops back to that and I, I'm still figuring I'm still figuring this out so I'm hitting some wrong buttons here but if I go back to <laughs> it keeps wanting to quit on me let's try that one more time now one thing to point out is this is an iPod touch so maybe it's you know, sometimes things operate a little bit differently. Actually, a first-gen iPod Touch. So, uh, you know, who knows? Crashes and things could be related to that. This definitely isn't the latest and greatest hardware. Okay, so we can add categories and we can add tags as well. So it's pretty basic. You can you can add your title, your text. Here's where you'd add a picture. And then uh, here's where you would add your... Um, your text. Let's see, does that go landscape? Doesn't appear to go landscape. 
that's something that I guess they could you know maybe use in a later version uh, I'm gonna cancel out of that again I could see my previous posts and uh, like I said earlier if I want to switch to another blog I can go to my account I can select the journal and for example I can select this other one that I have here for my daughter and then if I go to manage I should see posts about her and posts on her blog so that's just a quick run through of the uh, Squarespace uh, iPhone app on my iPod touch I think it looks uh, it looks pretty good it definitely brings uh, Squarespace on par with uh, WordPress uh, in and also TypePad, both of which have mobile um, uh, iPhone applications for posting uh, mobile. So it looks good. I understand that there's going to be some uh, improvements along the way, and those would definitely be welcome. But for now, uh, this is really nice.